Hi, this is Allison Kazmarek, and I'm here to talk about the new musical Brown's Raid. To begin, I'd like to tell you where the idea came from. I've been watching a lot of the documentaries and interviews with Lynn manuel Miranda, the writer of Hamilton. And one of the ones that kind of caught my ear was when he was talking with some young students how they wanted him to write more musicals to inspire them to look deeper into history. I myself have a young daughter and I watched her look through historical documents in order to find the snippets that were real versus those that were projected in just to add drama. And when we went as a family outing to Fort Ticonderoga to a reenactment of Brown's Raid, I spoke with the young musicians who were so proud in their uniforms and could explain why their uniform was different from somebody else's and how the musicians played a key role on the battlefield and how their part, small part of a much bigger whole, was important. And during those conversations on the mounds of Fort Ticonderoga, of course, Hamilton came up and we had some lively discussions and sing songs on the spot as the young audiences do when you mention the word Hamilton. I for some time have been very interested in Minecraft as an art form and as a mechanism to help teachers, educators, students, anyone who's interested in exploring an avenue outside of the physical realm into an area that's harder to reach. And what I mean by that is, you know, how can you have a battlefield with a hundred thousand people on it and shoot cannons and arrows and guns and not hurt somebody. Reenactments are ex very exciting, but there's something different about actually doing it. And in Minecraft you can, um, although it's a virtual self, you can. So Brown's Raid looks at those little pieces that make up a bigger whole. And we're going to look at not only Brown's Raid, but other battles that occurred that helped move the French to join us and help us win our independence. Battles like the Battle of Hubberton, Green Mountain Boys led by Ethan Allen, Daniel Morgan and his riflemen, the Battle of Bennington, that all led to the Battle of Saratoga. Brown's Raid is based in Fort Ticonderoga in upstate New York. The cast of characters for Brown's Raid will be structured similarly to Hamilton in that the company will play a large part in moving the story along and the key developments, not only through their use of words, language, but also through dance. The cast is going to be between 25 and 35 actors, and not only are they going to include actors on stage that are going to be company that are going to move similar to they did in Hamilton tell the story through physical movement and voice, words. But you're also going to have a Minecraft virtual actors who will have similar skins to their corresponding actors in a virtual world. And this idea came to me when looking at Anastasia the Musical. They used huge swooping videos as their sets projected onto scrims. And I thought, well, why not have Minecraft scenes of the surrounding area? You know, Fort Ticonderoga and the valley and Lake Champlain have all that area be projected onto screens with actors showing what was going on activity-wise in the scene with the actors talking about it on the stage. So you have this combination of a virtual event going on with digital actors, virtual actors, and then you'll have them on the stage as well. And that does a couple of things. One, it allows for the students to really get a sense of the surrounding location and some of the challenges that came from that. But it also allows them to explore it in a way that they can't explore it in real person. You know, you're not going to be shooting cannons across the water, but you can in Minecraft. You can blow up something on the other side in a virtual world and not hurt anybody. 
also actors who maybe don't want to be on stage, who really want to participate, but that's not them. Um, don't put me on the stage. So this gives those individuals, those students, an opportunity to be part of the community, the, the theater community. The Hamilton-inspired musical underscoring and choral works has elements that are seen in like my shot. I'm patiently waiting, I'm passionately smashing every expectation, every action to act the creation. I'm laughing in the face of casualties of sorrow. For the first time I'm thinking past tomorrow. And I am not away my shot. I am not right hand man. Stay alive. I have never seen the general so despondent. I have taken over writing all his correspondence. Congress writes, George attacked the British forces. I shoot back, we have resorted to eating our horses. Local merchants deny us equipment assistance. They only take British money, so sing a song of sixpence. The cavalry's not coming. But sir, Alex, listen, there's only one way for us to win this. Provoke outrage. Yorktown. Guns and Ships. Hi, this is Allison Kazmarek, and I'm here to talk about the new musical Brown's Raid. To begin, I'd like to tell you where the idea came from. I've been watching a lot of the documentaries and interviews with Lynn Manuel Miranda, the writer of Hamilton. And one of the ones that kind of caught my ear was when he was talking with some young students how they wanted him to write more musicals to inspire them to look deeper into history. I myself have a young daughter and I watched her look through historical documents in order to find the snippets that were real versus those that were projected in just to add drama. And when we went as a family outing to Fort Ticonderoga to a reenactment of Brown's Raid, I spoke with the young musicians who were so proud in their uniforms and could explain why their uniform was different from somebody else's and how the musicians played a key role on the battlefield and how their part, small part of a much bigger whole, was important. And during those conversations on the mounds of Fort Ticonderoga, of course, Hamilton came up and we had some lively discussions and sing songs on the spot as the young audiences do when you mention the word Hamilton. 